another project I have going on is I have a couple of these hatches leaking. Well, this one's still leaking and uh, the other hatch over there is leaking too. So what I'm doing is I took out these screws here, undid the hinge, uh, door still not wanting to come off. Uh, it's just, I don't know what it is. So let's try something bigger here. Hopefully, my first little section on taking the hatches off, you didn't watch that part and go ahead and take your hatches off. Because on that one, I, let's see here. I took these screws out, drilled that out, and then took this whole thing off. That's wrong. What you want to do is, here's a little cover. Goes right here. Take that cover off. And this has a little, a little plastic piece on it, if you can see it, that you just pop that off. And this pin comes out, this pin comes in, um, which protrudes into here and here. And that, that will just uh, come right out. So that's on these big hatch covers. And then to put it back on, you just snap it back on. On the smaller windows, however, they are a little different. Again, you don't have to take this out, drill this out or anything. You take the snap cover off right here. And this has, if you notice, uh, it's kind of like a, a screw head in there where you put one screwdriver in here or some kind of a pick and another one in here like that and you just twist it like this and that will uh, that will slide this over and then you'll be able to pull that pin out and then these pins that pin and this pin will be able to those pins will be able to come right out after you take this piece off let me get you know, take that piece off and then to put it back on or to tighten the hinge if it's wanting to like it won't stay open on you you can just tighten it up like that and that stiffens see it's not quite staying up all the way so you can tighten it up more so it st makes it stiff and it will hold it'll hold open itself open so that's how you're supposed to do it so i hope you didn't stop after seeing how i did it the wrong way the first time So I'm doing this in the morning. It's probably, I don't know, seven something, maybe close to eight. So I have uh, this drop cloth right here. Put down the drop cloth, take out these screws, slide them out, put the new seal on. Of course, this five minute job is now gonna, I feel, and take all day. These screws, I got one out are so corroded in there just just i mean just super corroded i can't get the other ones out i'm, I'm afraid they're gonna end i mean i got a, a good handle screwdriver snap on i'm afraid I probably strip the heads out which i guess that might be what i have to do so now what i'm thinking is if i can drill these out um then maybe just put them in with some other screws. I don't know, I think I have a tap and a die here. I can make some new screws. Or if at least if I can get half of them out. There's a pin in here. How much you want to bet? If these screws are corroded, that pin's gonna be corroded and I'm not gonna be able to 
separate this window here to replace this seal. So I may just get a drill and start drilling that out. We'll see. Uh, they're stainless steel screws in aluminum. Like I said earlier, you start out simple project, probably need a Phillips screwdriver, maybe a start head uh, on your uh, screwdriver thing. But look, at this. this is what I end up with. Drill, drill bits, vice grips, file, rubber hammer, as, as you should keep, oh yeah, heat gun, I'll tell you that. That's unrelated, I got sidetracked because these doors aren't quite straight. Um, drill bits out, another hammer, I, you saw the crowbar. Okay, I got it out. Here is the seal. Doesn't look too bad, but it just, Apparently wasn't cutting it. Here are the, the two halves. Okay, now these, I got this drilled out and the, the screw is pretty corroded. This one, I drilled out. Same thing over here. I got the screw out over here, had to drill that one out. And what it is, is, let's see, you can see it better on this one over here. This piece, I believe, I don't know if it's aluminum, plastic, hardened plastic, but when I drilled the hole out, I don't see any threads in here. I don't see any threads in there. I should be able to just stick a new screw in there since the other ones are are uh, are stripped. Well, I, I drilled them out so you won't see them, but these are, are pretty stripped. They were corroded. What did I end up doing getting those four out? Well, at least three of them. I took the heat gun applied heat you probably do it with a torch or something to right here and then actually out of well out of the four i got got three of them out which then allowed me to just drill these out so i think you could probably re just replace this if i were to pull it out but i think putting it together i'm just going to put a screw in here and here and well i could probably put another screw in there and just fill that hole in since i'm not going to pull that out. i'm afraid i'll break it and then I won't be able to line these two halves back up because all they do is go like that. And then you put your rubber seal in there. All right, I forgot to film the next part, figures. Uh, but anyways, um, I took this piece off, which is this piece right here, and it has these big O O-rings on it. Well, if you can tell, they're all cracked. I have two big containers of O-rings inside metric and American and uh, I don't have any I have some that size but not not the same thickness so I stack two of them on top of each other we'll see if it works uh, so I stretched the new gasket around it uh, we had, had some, whoa, we had some friends come over and so I had four hands on it now the wind picks up had four hands on it to help stretch it over so that made it easy um so now let's go put this thing on okay this project that was only supposed to take maybe an hour or so it's probably pushing two three o'clock i'm lucky it's not starting to rain yet i'll save the other one for an another day uh anyways i Drilled out the extra rivets here, as you saw. There's some silicone in here. I don't have any silicone. I do have this uh, Lexol stuff, so I'm gonna put a little bit in here. It's gonna make it really hard to get out next time. I'm in the process of making hatch covers. We bought a couple from Lumar and I'll put the price on the video, but they were pretty expensive. So we thought that's crazy, but I've not done a lot of sewing in my life. Sorry, mom. I know you tried. 
Uh, I have made one sail bag, and I do have um, the sail right sewing machine. So I'm making the hatch covers, and I had to make ten, and I am on the last one, and they're turning out okay, not professional by any means, but they're covering the hatches up and doing their job, and they're gonna stay put. Uh, I started out by watching the video on Sailrite, but we decided that we wanted to use bungee cord and they don't use bungee on um, Sailrite's video. So we wanted ours to look more like these from uh, Lumar, which is who makes our hatches. So I will post more about it measurements but I have had to make the measurements quite a bit bigger than the window since we're pulling it down and using the bungee cord and then I'm just making a seam here to put the bungee cord all the way around so I'm gonna fold these over and pin it because I am not very good at sewing and then I will run it through the machine I do have the new Worker B motor on my Sailrite machine, which for someone like me that's not very good at sewing, it is very helpful because it slows the machine down a lot. So here's my piece I have and I'm getting ready to sew it all together. my fabric has come off this roll of umbrella and we've been using the hot knife from Sailrite to cut all the fabric which I love so it heats up And cuts the piece off. And we have also been cutting a slit right in here. So we can run the bungee cord through here. So I'm just gonna pick a spot. I try to get it in the center, but I'm not too accurate on that. So I cut all the way, just try not to go through the thread, which I think I did that time, but I will. And now handing it over to the boss. <laughs> Eric is going to put the bungee cord through, and I did one, but he's gotten really good at it, so I just let him do it. Trader G, I put my glasses today. Oh, he broke his glasses. Just dropped a couple. Oh, feet. you really did break. Yeah. Where's your tape? I thought you were going to keep them. <laughs> I got a whole bunch more. I told you you could wear them. <laughs> on the boat. This is the hatch cover with the bungee in it. Oh, this one feels a lot better. <laughs> but this one does have handles to where we open the hatch from the top. So we're gonna have to cut out holes for that. Like we did over here. So this was the first cover I made. Not real proud of it and I really wanna redo it, but Eric won't let me. Not sure if you can tell on the video how bad it looks. That's horrible. But this is one of the last ones I did. Pretty happy with it. Fits well. And the rain, it's tight. So the rain just rolls right off of it. 
The ones from Lumar were made for low profile windows like ours and for the higher ones. So you, they were supposed to fit both. So they were pretty loose on our windows because we have the low profile.